Welcome to Breaking Hearts. Kama kawaida, it's your girl Suki, aka Suki.jpg. I'm out of the Uzumaki, so I'm not going to be saying that anymore. Jessica Rabbit, kama ningekuwa ye, labda ningekuwa karaoke sahi. And this week I have, again, third time's a charm, isn't it? <laughs> the loveliest, Kofenikas. Thank you. Karibu. Yes. <laughs> Komajina, Komajina, Naito Coffin, aka Coffinicus, aka Coffinicus at gmail.com. Coffinicus at gmail.com. Please get it. Thank you for joining us for yet another week. This is episode 40. Yay. Episode 40 of Breaking Hearts. Thank you so much for rocking with us. It's been a year. A very eventful year. Kuna mtu alikuwa na demo at the beginning of um, the show. And sasa labda uyo mtoto amezaliwa. They have teeth now. Oh gosh. That's how old our show is. How great is that? Anyway. My mind went somewhere else. <laughs> what? Where, where did your mind go? I'll, I'll just <laughs> see. I'll sing it. Oh my god. Oh my achwa. Oh my tupa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are gestation period. Okay. Pole. <laughs> But anyway, come on, if you're not the person that you you were with at the beginning of this show, Paula Sana. It is well. Um, your your girlfriend's favorite boyfriend is also not here with us this week. Um, please send your hugs and more love hearts to her fire. We miss you so much. And yeah, um, to begin this week's episode, Yay. Coffin, what Aye. were you listening to? Hey, I can prepare. I keep prepared. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so I've been listening to a bunch of mm-hmm. singles and one album that I'm very, very, very excited to share with everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, wait, actually two. But one of them I'm very excited to share. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was listening to John Batiste's new album. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's called World Music. I think it that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. It is what genre? That's the thing. It is so it's, soul, uh-huh. pop, mm-hmm. funk. There's a little bit of K-pop. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of dancehall. There's mm-hmm. a, a little bit of like one drop reggaeton oh, type. Nice. nice. It's it's such a well put together album, mm-hmm. and it looks it's hosted by. Mm-hmm. Let me read that. It's hosted by uh, John's alter ego, Billy Bob Bob Bob. Billy Bob Bob. <laughs> Billy Bob Bob Bob. Oh. Yeah. So how it feels like you're listening to radio mm-hmm. and there's some um, commentary. Uh, Billy comes in, oh, nice. says, says whatever he's saying, and then... A song comes on mm-hmm. and he has really tried to John Baptiste, who is like an amazing artist. And yeah. if you're a lover of jazz, you would love his music as well. Mm-hmm. So what he has done is he's brought all these genres mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. And you know how people say music is a universal language. So yeah. he tries to bring that out in Ooh, the album. Lovely. It is very well put together um Mm -hmm. it feels like you're listening to radio Mm -hmm. um he has collaborated with a bunch of artists he's collaborated with i think i saw jid my fave noise i had to he had to be first to be Mm -hmm. mentioned so these are like amazing collaborations Mm -hmm. um from different parts of the world of course um from africa fireboy Wallahi. Yes. That's amazing. I want to yes. listen to this project you need immediately. To, oh you need God. to go and uh-huh. listen and then we can exchange notes. I'm ready. It's so, so, so Also, so I love good. concept albums that tap into radio as like a, yes. as like a medium. It's so... 
Th- that took a it's, in the <laughs> it's so well done and i cannot wait to have so my dope. car i hope he he does um vinyl records because mm. this is one you definitely get on vinyl i must it's That's a dope. must then mm-hmm. the other album i listened to was um formation mm-hmm. by hansfear mhm Nice. It's a nice it's a it's a nice it's very I don't know how to say it. It's very Hansfearish. Like <laughs> <laughs> So it like jazzy mood. Jazzy, yeah. Mm-hmm. The arrangements are really great. Um mm-hmm. the collaborations are great as well. Mm-hmm. My faves. Um Kinoti is on there. Oh nice. Mufasa is also there. Mm-hmm. Um what's his name? Gosh. Kaskazini. Kaskazini. Oh, fro- from Kaskazini. Oh, Watendawili. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watendawili okay. are there. Um, and there's also, I kind of, I don't know, and maybe they can correct, they can reach out and correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a uh, interpolation mm-hmm. of um, Awilo. Awilo Longobo. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. But usually with that, I'm just like, as long as you cleared yeah it's fine. <laughs> it's fine if you do not it's also okay yeah we'll wait ume, ume, ume pita, eh, i really fine. don't like sample switching because on this show it's really easy to get into that stuck you want to or you need to music but ni, it's fine just yeah, make we, it a but you know like you appreciate it to make yeah, clear you yeah i really mm. i really really love it yeah and then um oh wait shout out to kinoti actually he has a listening party this week he does mm, for Kinoti. a new EP. Send me, send me the yes. invites. Just <laughs> send invites. Come on now. Um, right, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that because I've seen mm. him talking about a new project he's working on, and yeah. I'm really interested to see where that goes. And Is it little messages. What's it's it called little messages. I think. Oh, I don't know. That's what mm. it's called. Abun Hey, everyone's like on the Instagram. Uh huh. Then um, the other thing, which is so weird, after last week's conversation, yeah. a lot of Lydia's content has been, <laughs> a lot of Lydia's content has been finding me. I, I respect it, uh huh, and I like it. Come, um, come at the algo, in my summer. Hey, who are you to say no? You know, <laughs> when the algo says yes, who am I to say no? Um, and then the singles that I've been listening to, Fuzzy mm-hmm. Feelings by Mali, um, mm-hmm. Andia, nice. which I think it came out two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So I've been listening to that song a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, Snow Allegra also has a new EP. single out. No, mm-hmm. it's a single. Um, it's really, well, it's not Allegra. It's not so, Allegra, yeah. Of and then the last one, I was saving the best for us. Yeah. The, be- the last for best, best for last. Mm-hmm. Um, Victoria Monet's On My Mama. Ooh. Let How was that? You, she paid homage to... Oh, wait, I watched that. Is it the one with the, the video self. where, like, um, she's, like... She she does like different um like videos from yes. the south from like the two thousands. Yes. Sierra, uh, yes. I look black. I exactly. look good. I, I really, really love the I choreography. Love, man, and Victoria Monet is one of those. I feel like she's one of those artists that is underrated, but also not. Like, yeah, true. You will listen to her music, and then she will drop something, and she will remind you, mm. it's me. I'm here. I've Maze. always been here. Maze. Yeah, so I really, I really, I've been, I've been jamming to that song a lot, and the video is amazing mm-hmm. because it reminded me of them franchise boys. Kabisa and <laughs> gosh, <laughs> I think the thing, the thing that like really got me um, before. Okay, before um, my X dot com account was also like it, it, yeah, another one has gone to the Lord. My God! So at this point, it's three down. I've it's just okay. said Elon Musk. If this is what you want for me, who am have? I to say what no? What do you have left? Me, I keep getting banner after banner after banner in Aisha. I'm banner boy at this point. Anyway, <laughs> banner girl. <laughs> But my point is, like, um, before I left, I saw someone say something about Victoria Monet. I don't know if it was Kelly Rowland or, mm. like, one of these music journalists that I was following that said something about how Victoria Monet has a very refined energy about her. She sounds like she's been making music forever. She does. But, like, you know, she, like, she could easily fit in with the greats. 
and yeah. she and, and I think that really was tied together by that particular music video. Like she paid homage, but she still felt like she was very much still in the groove. Yeah, I really like that because she's she's written songs for so many artists also. Mm. So before she started singing, she was always she's written your favorite song. Like yeah. she's written most of our of the songs that we love. Mm-hmm. So I feel like also seeing her now mm. in her element, like it's just that's dope. It was also nice to see Charlie Boy in that <laughs> in that video. I was like, yes. And she, she's on her she's on her lucky day shoot in, in re- so many words. I'm and I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. Nice. Tuambie, what were you listening to? Mimi, I was in um I was in a beats kind of um, beats and jazz, really. Mm-hmm. I, I I wasn't really in the space where I was listening to a lot of new music. I'm picking up a new skill, so it's also just taken a lot of time, um, a lot of my time to build whatever listening persona mm-hmm. that is. Like I've learned that my DJing persona is not like my playlisting persona on Spotify is not my pl- my playlisting persona on um, Apple Music. Like there are different sounds that. Interesting. Um, that that I tap into um, at different times, even for making music, like the mm. different people I listen to during that time. Yeah. So um, I got into a couple of projects. One of them was actually um, recommended by Furaha last week. Mm-hmm. So I got into Imba by Idi Singer. Yes. Ah, so many Did nice, like nice, sexy songs. But like overall, it was a really bright project. Very bright, very colorful. Mm. Um, I love his vocals. I felt like it's um, it's a mix between like there's there, there's a bit of like soulful energy in the beginning. Yeah. Um, very is it gospel-y? Mungutu and Imba are very huh, you know come to Jesus. Yeah. I love that. But like by the time I got to um, like Nilisha, I was like, this is such a sexy song. It's so <laughs> nice. <laughs> Seasons with Grandmaster Tech was also really good. I remember mm. she told us about it and it felt very I'm a piano. Yeah. Um I, I still want to give it like another listen, but I overall enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Furaha yet again. And then I listened to an a project called Mut- Mut- Mutatis Mutandis. Oh wow. Nice. Um by an artist called Wavy Bagels, who mm. has um like four hundred listeners on Spotify. And I was just like, why? The good ones. Hey. The, the good no, ones. That's like that's some untapped juice for me. I really enjoyed listening to the project. Um, it's with uh, it's in collaboration with another rapper called Silence, mm-hmm. and um, I also got to read like uh, I, I guess a brief profile on this project because it came out in twenty twenty one, but on Spotify it was um, it was unveiled in I think around twenty twenty two. Or like that's the date that they, that they, that they detail at the bottom. Yeah. Um. So the title actually means making necessary alterations while not affecting the main point, and it's supposed to be like a revisiting of. It's a description of like the gray area between 2020 and 2021 when people mm. are like just not just starting to figure themselves out, but like you're thrust into this place where you have to deconstruct your ego. You have to exactly. deconstruct everything you've ever known about yourself yeah. to adapt to this new reality. Mm. And these are two homies who are kind of just bouncing off each other. Metaphors abound, kind of figuring out how to make sense of like whatever this new narrative of their life is. And um, with Bagels, Baby Wiggles, very cool name. <laughs> <laughs> I was in it. And... Um, there's a song called Pistol Pete, which mm-hmm. kind of tackles um, police brutality mm-hmm. and racism, where um, towards the end, there's a quote um, from a movie. I don't know what movie it is, but <laughs> it says, um, you can't just give a man his freedom like a coconut. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Wait, what? What the fuck is that? I like it. It's, like, it's, a, it's an exact kind of quote you want to put in a movie, but yeah. you can't just give a man his freedom. Like a coconut. It's provocative. It's provocative. It Keeps gets the, the people, people going. I stayed in that project. Just, <laughs> I stayed that for, for that. I stayed that for energy like that. And I think um, the fact that like the beats are also very jazzy, mm. very um if if you like like chill, chill hop. I feel like that's the name. Okay. That's the word I'd use. Like they use different chops of like um soul, like different loops mm-hmm. to build a, a completely new beat. Which is also the the 
which is also the feel that I got from this project, which is the best 30 minutes I've spent <laughs> in a while. Um, thank you so much to Kebenga, who sent me uh, a project that he created called mm. Cauliflower, an attempt at bravery. It's a beat tape from yeah. 2021, 2020, no, 2022. And um, I got to listen to it, um, I think, on Friday. And the thing yeah. that I really liked about it was it felt very madly inspired. Like... I love it when Kenyans tap into that sound because you know it's going to be that. Some Yeah, shit. always. Collecting really nice Kenyan samples to, to create that, um, that Mad Lib, that mm. um, Danger Mouse kind of jazzy that. sound. I <sighs> really, really, really love that. The ambience of this project is beautiful. Is, I, it, is it out? Is it out, out? It's on SoundCloud, yeah. Okay, It's on good. SoundCloud. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll work out the name. You can search for it. Um, it felt very personal also. Mm -hmm. um, so I did, um, I, I, I wanted to give like my rawest thoughts on it. So I, I, I kind of just broke it down <laughs> in the messages because I was yeah. like, yes, I'm going to give you a detailed response. But like, yes, if you're a musician and that's the kind of feedback you'd want from just, just about anyone, I guess having another ear is always a good thing. Yeah. Because I really enjoyed listening to this. It felt very new. It yeah. felt very authentic and... Um, I, I I I truly enjoyed it. If you don't enjoy it, that's that's on you. Mainly <laughs> mainly Jibamba. Mainly Jibamba. And then moving on to two projects I listen to mostly because of the appeal of like the samples that you can get from them. Really, mm -hmm. um, I follow this page on. I used to <laughs> follow this page it on on X dot com. It is fine. <laughs> called Microchop. Mm. And uh, Microchop is uh, created by this journalist called Greg Sosinelli. And he, um, he's he been detailing, um, or he's been writing for like, I, I think, the 80s, only 40 years Sasa, or something. Mm. But um, like, I, I, love, I love following that page, especially because like, I get to find new projects that I haven't listened to before. Um, one of them that I got into last week is um, from the Mint Factory by Mint Condition. It's from 1993. I wasn't there when it came out, but hey. I'm here now. Come on now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm here now, Mint Condition. Um, the, th the first thing that caught me, especially when I listened to the intro, is that this is where the sample for Tom Ford by Jay-Z comes from. Wait. Just listen to this project. <laughs> Actually, when I heard no, that, no. I was like, ah, I was like, this is beautiful, man. It's, I love finding a sample in a project I've never had see, before. I really, 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 and you really have to, like, dig. You do, you do. But, like, you know how nice it is when you, when you find people that are not just digging, like... Microchop is so easy to follow because yeah. he'll just post like the the the, the album art, and and the and maybe a link to um to listen to it on YouTube. Mm. But uh, after that, it's up to you. Do you like this project? Does this look like a project you want to listen to? It's it's really just your perception that leads you to to that. So I'm so glad I found this project. Mint Condition has so many lovely jams on this particular um project from the Mint Factory. Sample Gold, amazing listen. Uh, the second one was Migration by Creative Source. Uh, it's a 1974 project mm. um, from an R&B ensemble. Um, at that time, I found a song by Carl, Carol King, Corazon, and Harlem by Bill Withers, which was very nice, very, nice. very nice listening. Like, I, I did not know about this project before I followed Microchop. So just, I don't know, like, that's one of my favorite pages. If you're still on x.com, that's me giving you tea, man. Like, that's yeah. where you want to be. The rest of us <laughs> on x.com. So, yeah, I, I, um, I'm, I'm hoping to get back into, like, I feel like you've mentioned a lot of Kenyan singles and projects that yeah. I haven't really gotten into. I want to, like, do my homework now from next week. No, and it's, yeah. and I feel like it's, it's fine. Yeah, you, you get to it at your own time, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you get to it at your own time. And I mean, it's the... Um, I'd suggest you start with the Horn Sphere project. Mm. Um, I think it's produced by Mutoria. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so you know. It's good, it's, it's good. So it's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's, it's mm -hmm. instrumentals and mm -hmm. song songs. So nice. it will be, be a good listen. 
No, for sure. Like, uh, definitely a great transition from last week's lessons because I feel like I, I want to stay in this cocoon that I've created now. <laughs> jazz, is such, jazz is for ordinary people. If you take nothing else from this episode. <laughs> Please. <laughs> jazz ni akila mtu. Listen to some fucking jazz, man. Always, uh, <laughs> yeah. Because I remember when, how how I learned where the mm-hmm. UNITY, the... Oh, yeah. It was sample. It was five seconds. Really? A loop. Five seconds of... Uh, and it's... That song is like... Grammy three, Award seven winning. Minutes. Yeah. And they took six to six or six. And then they looped it. And it was so well done. Listen, when you listen to that intro on the Mint Condition Nini project, like, you see okay. even, even, even that... Ka, Nini, it's, it's the Tom Ford. Do, 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 do. It's just the end. Of that's that how. song, and it's, and I was like, "Yo, that's how you know producers." Being creative is lit. Let me tell you, like, <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Oh my god, you can play around with so like the most minute thing that bombards you. Like just throw that in there. It's crazy. I I, I love music, man. Love it. Uh, anyway, so one of the things we wanted to talk about this week, last week, um, the Afrima nominations mm. were announced. Coffin, what me. are your initial thoughts? Kuna, especially okay for me for me I felt like um, the West African said you you if, if this is like a pop compilation yeah. bruv, this is a playlist and a half like Him I love like, <laughs> they said a de Kule, black sherry but everyone eh, everyone showed up I feel like Oma they all kilam too kilam show up so had any call so mm-hmm. you just go you see name of artist <laughs> you're just looking at Kenya <laughs> eh wa Kenya tuko Tupo. So uh, for the best meal in uh, in East Africa mm. uh, category, they have um, this is the second time we're doing this in Hafari's absence, Hafari, but like it's, it's only safe to it's do it not, now. Hafari, it, tunakupenda, yeah, it tunakujali. Just, tunaku, we didn't do this. <laughs> ni Africa music We're just reporting the news. Works. We're just breaking hearts, you know? <laughs> So, um, Nyashinsky <laughs> was nominated. Congratulations to Nyashinsky. Um, I saw Bien. I was Bien. so happy. Bien, yeah. Maze, I was that's, so happy. That's for, amazing. For an upcoming <laughs> artist. <laughs> Wait, it's, he's upcoming because he's me, like he's, a solo... Yeah. Like his solo, his Bien, solo career is, Bien, is fairly new. Yeah. Bien is an upcoming artist. Free and fair, he's, just been, he's just been around in your faces, <laughs> but... As BNBN, BN, uh-huh. he's an upcoming artist. I'm like, hey, first to ever do it. Respect, man. <laughs> Gotta love it. And then best female East Africa, uh, we have Nadia Mukami, we mm. have Nikita Kering, and we have Fena, Fena. Gitu. This, this was so dope. Extremely dope. Let's see who else. Hey. South Africa, okay. Will South you, Africa. Kina, oh, Zinle. I love mm-hmm. Zinle. Nadia Nakai. Tyler. Kuna mawatus. Kuna, what, I see, I see, like, artists I need to go and mm-hmm. look and listen to, especially around Africa. Yeah. And not just East Africa. Mm-hmm. Um, especially the best newcomer bit of it. Why? I love the newcomer. Oh, for me, one Pia Yuko. Wapi? Scroll down, scroll down, scroll girl, down, girl. Watch some bad. <laughs> Hi, uh, best gospel. What's the apple? Okay. Uh, Majina's wako. Best live act. I see Saudi soul. Mm-hmm. Um, best female rap. Okay. Femi one. Femi uno. Wow. Kenya did not get an artist of the year norm. A role. Lakini <coughs> Ashake Falipupa Diamond, Platinum's Banner Boy, Rima, Soaking. I am Nakamura Davido. I mean, come on now. No, come on now. We can present. We can. We, we yes. have. We have. We have a, a, a representatives. Maze kuna watu tunaza throw in the, you know, in the pool. Takuliza after. A little bit. After. Like any, um, let us know who who you think <laughs> would have made yeah. like a, a, an interesting addition, especially from Kenya for this particular section. Best live act, yeah, Saudi Soul for sure. Saudi Soul, yeah. Key um, man. I Best female see. rap act, Femi One. Femi One. Hey, Femi Uno. Best male rap act, Hakuna Mukenya. Hakuna Mukenya. Hakuna Mukenya, I saw. Black Bones. 
Hakuna matara though. Okay. Oh, Joshua Baraka. Best collaboration. Song of the year. Yes. Amazing. See, that's where also For Nana Nana Remix. is. Butros is as well. Oh, yes. Hey, yes. Bien, our upcoming artist. <laughs> um, Taylor, I see you. <laughs> On this our fine show, do we say bad things? Perhaps. 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 From time to time, <laughs> you have to pinch people where it's needed. Alifika Shoyake 3.30 a.m. Can you imagine? It was what it was. Hey. DJ well, Shinsky, best African DJ USA. Wow. Uh, well, hmm? Wonderful. Congratulations, DJ Shinsky. Song of the year. Woi. So I'm get to pay it Hey. Oh, Victor Ni Rima and Don Toliver, a female video of the year. Ooh. Hear me out. But Joshua Baraka for the Nana remix. I'm, I'm throwing my heart there. Video of the year. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me look at these songs. <laughs> okay, I see. I see what you mean. And I think the Lila Bianca song being there mm-hmm. is because it was, it's almost like, it's one of those songs that was mm-hmm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Mm-hmm. I feel like Look it, the, the multiverse of music videos. Hey man, wonderful! My God, <laughs> yeah. But for and how about collaboration? Mm-hmm. I saw collaboration. Um, best collaboration. Wow, Koniliana Nani Butros Akwabi. Butros. Oh, Fatumata Diawara for album of the year. Wonderful. Best African group, Saudi Soul. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, like, th- how many norms is that so far? Like four. Four. No, wait. Okay, so like, so lama. Okay, BN, Just... BN, ni a different artist. BN, okay. ni upcoming artist. Okay, okay, sour. So, but, so maybe they have like three of them. But I don't know if she is. I don't know Album of the year. I see mm-hmm. AKA is here. Um, oh. Omale. Mm hmm. Interesting. Mbona music producer of the year kuna Kenya. That's I feel the like, thing. I feel like um let's talk about it. <sighs> One day. I know I I I I've, I've actually just mentioned. I think I think I was mentioning it to someone at Blankets like yeah. we need to we need to have like a lot more producers even on the show just to like have an awareness of the people that really put in like the work behind the scenes yeah. on some of these projects that we like we know and love. You know like I feel like we focus so much on on the star of the show that we forget mm. that there's so many components that come together in the back end. That are engineers, things like that. Yeah. People need to... It, it's not just a love for music. And I guess it's not like necessary to always have like the spotlight on people. But like it's nice to have some of these, some of these names out there and like get them some recognition I agree, for the I work agree. that they do. And for me, as a lover of producers, because... Mm. Production seekers in Dogo Maze. Production seekers when you want to do mixing and mastering. It's mm. not... Because for a song to to sound complete, yeah, which some don't, but... <laughs> for a song to sound complete, yeah. you need the, a lot of like moving parts. That's and I feel true. like the producer has to be there, the artist has to be there. The, mm-hmm. For those who have writers mm-hmm. um helping them write mm-hmm. the writers need to be there exactly um sound engineers the guys who do the equalizing and stuff so that exactly that's, come out come out come out mixing and mastering qua headphones they come mm. tell you actually dia <laughs> in a sound funny dia by the way <laughs> just and and I, I feel like um I, I I recognize especially with the Grammys there's like a huge focus on stuff like that like when when a Grammy is won each and every single person has like uh that has a credit on that song gets their yeah. recognition so I don't know if it's the same for the Afrimas like I'm not I'm not sure because I haven't seen any writers um and I feel like even here mm-hmm. it's I was I'm trying to do research on like songwriters. Mm-hmm. And it's all songwriters. You, hey, all you get is, of course, Pete's on. Mm-hmm. the ten, like ten others, mm-hmm. but then the rest you don't get to hear about. You don't get to, mm-hmm. you don't get to see. And I feel like it's 
it's a thing that we need to make a habit of. Exactly. Just crediting everyone, making sure mm. if tumetoa a song in it was song kando. Exactly. Song ya mse. Songa kando. Songa kando. Songa kando. We brother. Nipe nafasi. Songa kando. Okay. Okay. Copyright. Any. So, um if we have a song, yeah. we need to and this is also a thing that I've seen a lot of artists, some artists doing. Mm-hmm. So after you've published your song, if you haven't put your producer, which you should. Actually, yeah, a, a lot of publishing Kwanza on Spotify, which you know, like it's there. It's it's very easy for me, me to want you to press, find out and see your, your original me. producer. It kills Aje. me. Una press credit una, una producer. One line. Why? Maze song kwa nini ya muimbaji peke yake? Exactly. Unless muimbaji pia ni producer, which that's a lot of work, bro. I mean, you're, you're putting it in. Good job. You're putting it in. But also put your name there. Kwa nini you didn't mm. produce the song? Yeah, so Give it's... yourself a pat on the back. I've seen a lot of artists do that, mm-hmm. which is they do the... Um, they do it on IG. So you create mm-hmm. like, if it's your cover art, and then you create a... F- page of just crediting everyone mm-hmm. because at this point we need to know who was keeping your life exactly who was bringing you tea maze coding maze kujua kama ulikuwa unaenda kwa mama gadhanga kunini na kama na kama na kama alifanya kazi ya ENR mweke mweke i mean miss jukwa nini don't be just just credit the people who are doing these things because mm. it's it's important one for the story telling the story of This mm-hmm. is how the song came about. Like I felt so bad. What was that lady's name? Mm-hmm. Um she did NR for the song. Oh, Drew Dixon. Yes. I felt so I felt bad. so bad when I had that story. But then I hope you watch Ladies First. It's a very very good documentary. It's amazing. <laughs> Extremely good. And like I I love that song, like Method Man and um Major Blige. Blige. So they give the story of how um you know, oh Yeah, all I need to get by um was Nini put together and Drew Dixon kind of goes through the story of how like when she listened mm. to it at first it was an interlude on Method Method Man's project um is it Tycho? Tycho. A Tycho. We're Kenyans. Near dio gedogo but Tycho. Yeah. But so I I I I figured like um I, I I didn't know that the song itself was like an interlude at first and yeah, then she same. made the call to Diddy who 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 said yeah we're going to get Mary J Blige on this and I think that she should sing this and then in, you know like they practically arranged the whole song Drew Dixon did not get an ANR mention for it which I I thought was insane I really insane yeah, I really hated that nah. I'm just like just credit everyone. Credit credit everyone. Just make yeah. sure everyone is seen. Everyone you worked with on the project exactly. is seen. Um and if money is involved, mm. pay, pay the pay people. Pay them, maze. That you need Pay the people. So yeah, a duty of care to mm. everybody involved in a project, a duty of care to everybody involved in a song. I don't know, like it's 2023. We have the mechanisms for these things. Also, I don't understand why like it needs to be a discussion exactly i don't understand <laughs> exactly mtai kuja kwambi chimbe mtaro but you know like when when it was instagram like people found a way to to guarantee that like everybody gets a, a credit for like the projects that they work on yeah. so for visual projects like people understand that why not the same for musical projects that's the same if you're putting dop ni huyu styling ni huyu model hey. ni huyu agake ni huyu like just Music maze Come same on. thing. Do it. Band hai kujengwa na mtu mmoja. Come off it. Just do it. T. Just do it. Migote your hey, story maze. Get it in. Ish, Please <laughs> just credit your people and pay them. <laughs> credit people maze. And pay them. Walipe. Anyway. <laughs> so Byron. Habari <laughs> yako? Karibu sana. Mzuri asante. We're going to cut to the man behind the camera today. Hey. Lona Skika. Unasikia unasikia vizuri hivi ndo mnasikia anga. Exactly, exactly. Karibu sana. Thank you, thank you. So, um the two of us did not get to go for Dancehall versus Afrobeat. It was over the weekend on the 19th. 
Um, so yeah, give us a brief breakdown of Nani alishinda? Nani alishinda first? Ningo magani very close kushinda. First, first of all, Poleni jumli milimis. Tulimis crazy. No, form of form way kwa natuma. Natuma. Tena kwa sana. Natuma sana. So uh nil, uh I think nili end up nilifika time ya set ya Jimani. Mhm. And you know Jimani was representing Afrobeats. Mm-hmm. Uh obviously from my own perspective dance hall one. Uh-huh. Dance hall one. <laughs> Wait, just from your own perspective there wasn't like a akuwa na scoreboard voting. No, like akuwa na scoreboard or something yeah. but like you could tell you could tell like the reaction when mm. maybe uh, uh, a dance hall tune is played. You know mm-hmm. like no na like say say right now the club scene mm-hmm. if you If you go to like every other club mm-hmm. you'll find that they're playing either the afrobeats obviously the nigerian guys and mm-hmm. them are pianos mm-hmm. so like the crowd's reaction to us that was like yeah, okay yeah to me uh, it's maybe so wait then they just move kidogo ah, and nice. now mm-hmm. even like imagine like in, in in a club and then you just hear like let's say v6 rhythm uh-huh. just hear like ding Tin 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 hold on let me ask you a question yeah. baby okay. <laughs> what is a dance hall hero your vibes eh yeah. <laughs> silver star <laughs> no i feel <laughs> even worse dance hall is shinda for you <laughs> yeah so like the dance hall guys really came through mm-hmm. yeah it's jehano versus silver star sounds mm-hmm. yeah so that, that that was the take from okay from up on ili kidogo nilizima but ulizima kwa sababu ilikuwa afrobeat ama ulizima kwa sababu ilikuwa two time ya kuishia yeah, yeah ilikuwa two time yeah. <laughs> okay. but but dance all one thank you yeah nice, from your perspective nice. well, your perspective is what no, we are taking also, today also we from, trust you Byron <laughs> also <laughs> from the nini from the from the from from the whole vibe to yeah uh, the okay obviously it's it's a musical thing mm. there's no like blah 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 hate or something but mm-hmm you could tell from 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 the guys who are coming from the event they really enjoyed the dance hall set yeah because okay. uh i'd say like the, the age the age bracket of most of the guys who attended the event were, were the guys when dance hall was a thing mm-hmm. it and to look high school look and now tumeanza kupata ka kitu now we can go to these events so like to not to not get your like nostalgia for mm. from what we used to hear maybe the time to look enter ah maze the phone is basically yeah time to look enter me so na sema in a party to some Yeah so that, that 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 was the vibe for for that event. Are they doing another oh, one? I love that. Wanafanya no, nini tena? No, I'm not sure. But total total is a jimani and a grouchy to me. Mas eh Jimani Shikeng, we need a, we need one, we need one G, we need another one. Yeah. <laughs> Because I feel Nilisker Silverstar. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing my friend <clears throat> saying he told me he's going to the show. Mhm. Muzagani. Mhm. Membia Silverstar Nico. First of all I knew dance hall. Yeah. The moment I saw Silverstar I knew dance hall forever and ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, I miss it. I miss well, it. I haven't next listened. Next time to 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 to, to, to record to kweke <laughs> on YouTube. Tenda kusikiza playlist ya <laughs> At this point, we check maze sisi mablena. But wasa tu is talking about but on a cafe. Maze kama kukuza. Also ni kona ni kona ni kona ni kona ni kona, ni kona, ni kona Not sure if you guys have talked about it, but Nikona, there's ne- this new album by K. Rob. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm not sure if you, if you guys have heard it. No, no, we have mm-hmm. not. Tell us, tell us more it's about it. It's called. Uh, let me just open it. Royalty. So the album features uh, ni ni album yake. Obviously, you know K. Rob is a DJ producer. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he did an album where the features are only females. Oh nice. Yeah, nice. so there's some good songs. The the Nini how is it called? The 13 songs in actually. So mm-hmm. the, the 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 first song which came out from 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 that was So Loud which features Hilda Watiri. The video mm. I think 
he may fish 100k now I think like a month wow. nice so i knew it because he is my was my campus classmate Mm. but the album is actually good i think the first song and the last one those are like my favorite from them from 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 the from the project what a, that's a very good the first the first the song first and the last, the last song i don't know what you are singing while you chase up and you wanna wait yeah so on jerez here olivia yeah. bani andia iana iana wendy wendy k nice. page my zara iminza Hey, Zippy. Oh my god, Zippy in your home. Oh yes. So, yeah. so it's a, it's a really good album you guys can go check it out. It kind of vibes out the Afro beats, yeah. the Interesting. Afro piano and yeah. yeah. I need to give it a second. I'm going to get into this cuz uh-huh. Meryl Page sent it to me. She sent the single. Mm-hmm. I was trying to look at I'm trying to remember where did they see this cover art because I've seen this cover art mm-hmm. this weekend. Yeah, she sent it to me so I listened. Mm. I need to give it another listen to just Okay, uli chambua. Mm. So, so I'll get into this. It looks like these are all my faves, man. Like all my favorite vocalists, exactly. a, a couple that I haven't like heard from but like mm. I'm definitely going to get into from this. I this love is it. lovely. Also I love I love this trend. I've been seeing like a lot of especially male producers so so and such and such putting together projects Me, that I feature to be loud. I want more by the So that's what Waidaka did also. Yeah. Waidaka has been doing that. Mm-hmm. Um so I really okay, I really want them to step in your element producers. Step in your element. Maze. Made makona. The girls have something to say. Always. Oh, All day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Byron. Yeah. Um mm. I love food to kona to kona topic ingine ya round up Darling Cofenicus Oh my god It's uh time for you to to amoni you have three minutes Um you had guns to shoot three minutes ni mob gosh You have a loaded um Glock <laughs> What words do you have <laughs> from the world of music publishing <laughs> Ni nani anakubo ni nani anakubamba what what um what takeaways do you think artists can have especially in 2023 um given your time at um can I say at it a distrib- on a distrib- at a distributor at a, a distributor at yeah. a distribution company at a distribution company uh ukiweza kutoa maoni moja yenye haitakupeleka kotini utasemaje views are <laughs> Views are my own. Stakini kuje kupigwa kwa nyumba. These views are not representative of, of, of the thoughts that we have here on Breaking Hearts. On, no, on the good company. Please. Tuko na lawyer. Thoughts are my own. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. So, anyway, so, thoughts are my own. Mm. Thoughts <laughs> are my own. Um, mm-hmm. Gosh, I've learned a, eh, I've learned a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, mainly on like what artists should do. Mm-hmm. Um, and good practices also uh, mm-hmm. what's good practice which is one upload your song three weeks to release day three Usi, weeks uh, three weeks so it's three weeks ni mm-hmm. to just give yourself time mm-hmm. for the um, you're foreseeing like you're foreseeing a back and forth with the ops from not those kind of ops <laughs> The ops when you wanna fanya kazi kwa the distributor. So the, so the operatives. At, yes, the operations. <laughs> Not the other people. Not people. the ops. <laughs> Not, Not the, the ops. OPP. Okay. No. <laughs> so um, you want to anticipate mm-hmm. that there's going to be your your song is going to be unpublished maybe because your cover art is not correct mm-hmm. you haven't followed the necessary guidelines so do that th- 3 weeks 3 weeks is the best um mm-hmm. cuz it also gives you time to like figure out your marketing stuff pitch for playlist correctly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for another day uh pitch for playlists uh-huh. um yeah just get your house in order so that when release day comes mm-hmm. at least everything you have everything everything is good Aligned, to go yeah. yeah everything is good to go mm-hmm. um make sure you have your lyrics always mm-hmm. always always have your lyrics um if you don't have lyrics take time to listen to that song and just 
write them down and submit. Mm-hmm. Um, again, credit your producers. Make sure you put them as performers or if they're featuring. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, do that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, work on your cover art. Okay. <laughs> I this cover art when you a couple of times. <laughs> I was talking about the trouble today, about even. album art. Uh-huh. Um, I'm noticed like during my time at the said distribution company, I noticed Canva is great, mm-hmm. but there's like there's so million, many artists, Mazi. <laughs> one million other artists who have so used many Canva. good. Yeah, no, like not even that have used Canva. Yeah. Like the thing about it for me is. The digital artists, first of all, there's Mid Journey. Okay, kuna wasi wana tumia Mid Journey say for for album art, which yeah. you know respectable. Mm. But like at the same time, like the digital artists and like probably the most they'll charge you is like two Gs for a sleeve. I mean, I get it. Ikienda sana ten, ikienda sana ata thirty. Depends on who you like the the kind of visual language you're looking for. But yeah, yeah muhimu. I get it. When a DIY artist, you don't have. Much. The money's yeah. You don't have the money's, so you and the best place to go is Canva. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, ukienda okay, Canva, mm-hmm. there's so many artists with the same, with the same cover art. Kunaile na kwanga na a rose bunny. I've seen that album art a lot. There's Wait. the art cover art with the dude, and there's a like it's like sunset. I've seen it in, uh, enough. I'll show mm-hmm. you. I'll show you the ones. You can you will pick like five artists who have that that same cover art. Oh man, I wish you could have them on the screen just to cuz cuz Canva is also like widely yeah. used now. Even people are also paying for subscriptions, right? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's not it's not bad. It's just that at times you really want to there's people who look at the cover art to yeah, decide true. if they want to listen to your song. Period. So, just go that extra step. Go that mm-hmm. extra mile um, and put thought to your cover art. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure your song is complete, including mixing and mastering. Wait, see, like, see, come on, go, mother, Pink Panther is a two minutes. Think. I'm a, like, like, as in, it's a full two minutes is fine. Unaza kata ya one minute, but make sure everything is correct to the ear. Yeah, yeah. It sounds oh, nice. like well mixed, uh, well mastered, mixed, well mastered. Um, just make sure that's done, mm-hmm. and all will be well. Usi, usi, take ati. I want to release a song on when is Friday, the twenty twenty something. Is twenty? Yeah. Come on, the twenty first Friday, the twenty fifth, twenty sixth. So, twenty uh, fifth. <laughs> 25th, 25th, yeah. 25th. So you want to release a song on the 25th? Una upload Kesho 22nd. I'm una upload Leo. I mean, no, actually. If you want to do it, do it. But mm-hmm. just know, the chances of it not dropping on the 25th, very high. So, like, um, I, I wanted to ask, especially because of um, the way that... Uh, There's a project I talked about mm. na on on, like... DSPs, it was released on, it says it was released on the 22nd of May. But Labda, they had sent it out for distro Kitambo. That's like a possibility. Maybe what they did was it was released on, maybe they had released it either, yeah. and then Wakadu take down, mm-hmm. and then Ikarudishwa. Oh, okay, yeah. So it makes sense with like the name of the project, Pia. <laughs> the necessary adjustments were made. I mean, you know. <laughs> But maybe uh, that's what maybe that's what happened. Yeah. Our yeah. it was released on either YouTube or mm-hmm. SoundCloud. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, because I saw it on 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 Reddit Pia. So mm. probably and, either or. And then another thing is also <clears throat> mm-hmm. you've said it. Mm-hmm. Clear your samples. Kabisa. <laughs> clear them. Clear clear your sample. I mean it's great. Oh, sita shikwa. Oh, blah blah blah. But when that mm-hmm. time comes, you don't need you don't need that kind of wahala in your life. T. Just just do that. But all in all, I mean, it's once you follow the necessary the necessary steps and mm-hmm. the guidelines by the distributor, mm-hmm. I think it should be 
it should be good for you. But also I'll tell most artists, like if if you can just go and look at what Apple Music, um, the requirements for Apple Music mm-hmm. are perfect. Those ones mm-hmm. are the ones that should guide your... I can actually look for a link and then you can put it um, oh, in the description sure, box. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like those are the... Um, they give guidance on how to write lyrics because we're saying I want to get any composition. Yeah. yeah um, the specific requirements for cover art um, and, yeah, just the song. So it's you make it easier for yourself and you also make it easier for the guy who's reviewing because um, mm. some distributors have people, actual humans, listening to your songs and yeah. making their judgment. Yeah. It's not always AI. So, okay, but you got this. <laughs> you got this. Wonderful. So, All right. so, so can you start liango kamtiani juu album at album cover ke adonda. Hey, hey, watch it. <laughs> like, if if we're going to talk about if we're going to talk about artists with shit cover art, let me just start with my fave, Future. Oh my god, Future, Future, Alikwa, the fumbler for me. Like he really got a cover from a chemistry book. Chemistry book we are from too. Alisa mapana, he chemistry book ni DS two. Indo na bamba. Ini that is bright. Eka uso yangu apo. <laughs> like and that was during like the one of the best album runs of my like in my opinion because like he was releasing an album I think almost every month. He really alikuwa kwenye machozi juu ya Ciara. Lakini kila project anatoa iko na 15 tracks. Alafu anaweka tu chemistry book. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, I'm not talking you know, shit about that sprite by the way. I'm just saying like there was just a lack of care in that era. Evil, yeah. Pia, ilikuwa na hizo roses, ikona nini burning roses. It's very <laughs> weird. It's, it's very weird. I mean, Sijui kama nikona artist mwenye akona cover art ni nakafani. But at some point, I feel like in that run, like alifika point that mtu alimuambia cheki. Kuna ma artists. Unachoka, man. And he reached out to one of my favorite artists <laughs> for, for album art especially. Uh, his name is Dewey Brian Saunders. Bro, from 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 that point on, I think Pierre Leon I can't I can't keep making shitty album art. If you look at all this, same thing. Oh, yeah, same family. It's cute. Same family. It's like it's cute. Like it's cute. It's like it's cute. Victoria Monet, you know, original, original, beautiful. Book. You know, you know. Aye. Just <laughs> this one. It's it's giving two thousand, but. <laughs> yeah, two thousand. It's all right. We can't. It, it's we can't okay. say we, who. But I feel like, um, especially when you have like a distinct, there's a, there's an artist I remember, um, the same the same photographer that did the cover for Emancipation of Mimi. Um, there's a there's a certain photographic style that yeah. he had in the early 2000s. He did a photo of Kelis, another photo of Beyonce. And like I saw people commenting on the way that he has this halo effect thing that he does that um, makes them look like they're angels. Their hair is blowing in the wind. Yeah, you know, it. artists hey, do so actually, much to yeah, communicate. Like remember, even just who the artist is. Back when R&B niggas, hey, when maze, at an angle, maze, with a with a nini, with a with a cheetah. Good times. Uh, sitting next to <laughs> maze, mkwana, ma, ma, ma fake Good plants times. hapo. And Mimi. it's and it's very interesting to see how it has all evolved. Maybe mm. it's because of there's a lot of sites coming up for that help with these things. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But also, I feel like there's um, kisungu <laughs> but uh-huh. kuna an evolution. There's like no, uh, there's a level of a level disregard. Of, yeah, for cover art. Yeah, we'll yeah. Go to come a message, bro. <laughs> exactly, excuse a message. <laughs> Let me tell you the person that I, I, I believe like best represents this. It's Wiz Khalifa. Oh, Wiz Khalifa, there was a point. I like to release projects and like I like to copy paste too. So okay, on like the covers of like popular projects from the seventies. So there was um there's one where he he actually just photoshopped his face into um I think it was a. What's this guy from The Temptations called? Which one? Um, David something from The Temps. He um, 
abused Tammy Terrell. I, I hate how th- that that is how like um I've decided to identify him but like it's because I really loved his music and then mse akasema eh alikuwa mse alifanya hivi na hivi. And I'm the way the way so I can't listen to any motivational quotes as a KRS one. I'm like no I just like this is like over like and I was like guy this is such a, a horrible place to be but like my point is wase wana wana wana, wana ju copy paste wana 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 kausa yao kwa art ya wenyewe like I, i love how um like the album art for take care is also an homage mm. but like it's still drake like ni drake amejea kapo it's an homage that kind of creates a new interpretation of um la bc phrase yeah. um project it's not like a direct interpretation it's just mm. a i like this album art it was fucking great let me create recreate this image with my likeness and the things that like tap into yeah. you know what my project really is about yeah, so because i've seen i've mm. seen really nice cover art there's a cover art i was talking to afari about yeah, that one. gani tuambie <laughs> basi <laughs> <laughs> it's tricky it's tricks it's tricks that i can't niki pressy but it's so good to imba and then it's going to be it's going to be a problem for me we must need uh huh Oh, awesome. eh. <laughs> I don't I don't like the cover art but no Kenyans be the we need uh, to, cover art we need to we need to rise up a little bit rise you up. know it's not a bad thing to yeah. to also give visual artists a chance give visual artists some money yeah some I recognition. understand I understand you want to finish either you want to do it really fast and just have a cover art and pub and upload mm-hmm. and that's it but give 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 your cover art some um, the same respect you give your song is the same respect you need to give to your cover art um mm-hmm. and and it got to a point where i got like i used to see bad cover arts mm-hmm. horrible cover arts but the I'm song just, is great the song is nice because say so say iki tuta bidi nikurudishie na there's nothing much i can do about it but is it is it something that you can also communicate to the artist directly at that point like and can you so, tell them so so if you're working from a back end that's mm-hmm. the only way you can communicate to the artist mm-hmm. because also one thing you try to avoid is being very yeah you don't want to be judgy or like yeah judgy uh-huh. but also very accessible to the artist mm-hmm. in terms of like those who I was able to text and just say we watch her Mm-hmm. just <laughs> go clean it up uh, yeah. yeah but also you don't want to you don't want to be you want you don't want to have them and this is like i'm talking from a from a personal place where you don't want them to oh, to have your whatsapp number and mm, then you become mm. the national hotline of cover art approval <laughs> I get you I get you. Yeah, cuz it becomes so super too overwhelming. Mm-hmm. It becomes super overwhelming. So if you're working from the back end, mm-hmm. you send a notification then it gets to them. Ah, okay. They're able to see your song was unpublished because of this and this and this your mm. lyrics, your language, blah blah blah, blah all that. Mm. Yeah. But right. if you follow just follow the things, just make sure but most of all just upload a complete song three weeks before the release date and then mm-hmm. you should be fine okay and that's kuna reason you want to finish a song today mm-hmm. work on it tomorrow mm-hmm. upload on thursday to be released on friday unless there's a reason unachaza utachaza hiyo wimbo peke yako quest studio always <laughs> but thank you so much Thank you so You're much welcome. for that insight. I feel like um it's something that I've always wondered about but like the mm-hmm. way that you've broken it down also kind of um see mimi nasema ni mtu mwenye amefanya hii kazi. So you know like kwa na reviews na kwa na review my songs is our say. Exactly. Yeah. So you know like kama ni maoni yenye anaweza share na inaweza kujenga like just please receive it. I feel yeah. like it's very good um advice. And also uh, the, Uh-huh. The, the the last thing is it doesn't matter what you have been told by mm-hmm. the like at times people would try to promise things simply because they want you to mm-hmm. you know join them 
Yeah. Join the distribution thingy. Um, and at times, it doesn't matter what you've been told, what you've been promised. Just know, as long as you're a DIY artist, mm-hmm. need DIY, do it yourself. So you have to learn. <laughs> you have to learn all these things. Yeah. Um, at times, the people will not be there to do things for you. Mm-hmm. So you might as well just learn how to do these things. And also, just also do research about distributors. Mm-hmm. Do do your research to know. Sikuna Akina Distro Kid Tunko, Horace, all those guys. Do your do your research, and whoever you feel fits in your like, you'll be more comfortable with. Mm-hmm. That's the one you go with. Okay, T. Always to make my shimmerings. Asante Sana Coffin. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Really, you. really appreciate you coming through for yet another week of Breaking Hearts. Cheers to episode 40. To make me safari. To make me sana hafari. Karibu sana. Ini maji. But. I'm saying that there's cheers na maji. Like, siki tumba. Nili skia, by the way, ni nini. Pero, simdangane. Nili ambuwa ni bad luck. Ni bad luck kuchia za maji. But ni mbili. Tuta kwa fiti bana. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, ni double warrors. Eh, Wait, I think I saw it on Grand Cru Pia. Yeah. Hey. Like, kuna msi alikuwa na chia za maji alafu the next minute akararua nini, like his pants tore at the back. Bent over anyway. to just a streak of bad luck. Anyway. Double water. If you take, Positive. there's so many things to take from this episode, so there's no like grand quote to end it, unfortunately. But thank you so much for rocking with us. This is episode 40 of Breaking Hearts. And um, yeah, let us know what you think of the episode and what you... It could have very many opinions that you can share. <laughs> so please um, interact with us and see you next week. Cheers. Bye. Bye.